What's going on guys? It's Music Player 1979 coming from West Texas today, August 16th, 2015. This last couple months has been a phenomenal change with the system and I do feel that our time is approaching at hand. Throwing some videos together, these videos are quite overwhelming. The Really the last week and a half, two weeks since the misty look took effect in our skies. It's been different. And here a couple days ago, I shot a couple videos out on the east side that are just spectacular. And they show the objects with its debris and the other ones that either trail or lead. Now again, you see an object here. You can see the debris that comes out and comes around this object. I mean, literally comes around and starts to fall from this object. Uh, this is a depth of perception, okay? It comes out from the back side here. It comes down. gets bigger as it comes down. Okay, bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And here it sits. Okay, very large. And of course, with something that is this large, it has smaller objects. You can see the corner of this one. One's here. Of course, you have these here. Now, as we zoom up closer, we'll zoom up into the smaller ones, all right, that are going around the bigger ones next to it. Okay, so it shows you how large they are, guys because they're very massive. This was shot again on the 12th this month here on the east. And as we move up into it, guys, you can see just the dominance of everything that is playing here. Okay? All the way down to the very top. Now, here... I want to show you a object and its debris and it has two debris hands to it okay and you can see the one on the side okay on the left side is reaching out towards an object you can see that okay on the very bottom of the screen it's reaching out towards a large object as the one that is straight ahead is reaching out in front of it Okay, now you can see the hand, very bright hand, that is reaching out for that object. Okay, and this all has to do with gravity. Now again, with the large object, I want you to make note behind it, because this is the debris that these objects leave in their wake. Okay, and a lot of people don't see this. And these objects, guys, are very, very dark. And the only reason why we are able to make these objects out is because of the debris, okay, of the oxide, the cloud, the mist that it creates all around it, okay. Now, as you watch this object and its debris that it's leaving behind, you can see the objects that are trailing with that object. You can see them coming up behind that object. They're very dark. I mean, you can see they're following it. As we zoom out and we get a look at it, you can see the ripples that come off of this on each story. Now, these ripples that the system creates, the system creates it very uniquely because of the objects and their movement of travel. I mean, you can see how beautiful and full this area is. I mean, it's quite incredible, guys. Quite incredible. Now, once we look up top, okay, this is very important because we have the shading within colors again. On the very top, you can see the objects that create the trails within the brightly lit oxide. And as you drop a level down, you can see other objects as well. Now again, don't 
look at too much at once if you are starting out okay if you're trying to figure all this out and trying to figure out the changes that are going on around you I want you to take one part okay these objects guys they're very very large I mean even watching the movements of them and how they create the stance and create the structure drive that they have all right to be able to move fluently within the cloud you can see how these objects create that platform ability okay they gather and gather and gather junk all right which gives them height within the cloud all right and they travel on this debris cloud as you can see here Okay, and as we zoom out again, and we shift up towards the top, you can see just <laughs> the divinity and everything, guys. It's very beautiful. The tentacle look is everywhere. And the stories, the life that it shows is incredible. Okay, and most of you probably now are seeing faces or seeing some resemblance to life. Each story possesses objects, okay? In turn, as they travel, again with such beauty, being perfect in every turn and angle and movement that they have, all right? creates that artistic ability it's amazing now again as we look here we can see the ripple effect again okay people are now saying that they see the mountainous terrain that the system seems to be alleviating and that is correct you can see how it comes over a, a large shadowy area there on the right. Okay, the whole debris trail falls off of that top story. Okay, look at it turn, look at it create the turns that it's doing. As you divide your colors, okay, and your shadows, you will be able to see the objects and their movements. But only while doing that. Okay, the cloud itself is different. That's the first step. Seeing that difference. Okay, the second step is wanting to observe it. So again, this was caught on the 12th, roughly about 45 minutes after. What we have here is what I see, several of thousands of objects, all right, that are actually going from the top of the screen down towards the bottom right. Now as we go down, follow the debris path down towards that shadowy area, you'll notice an arm that comes out. Okay, and it attaches itself to multiple objects. Alright, now those objects are actually going to make themselves up that trail. Okay, and the reason being is because they are going over a larger object. Okay, that we cannot see as of yet. Now, in turn, okay, this creates, at this moment, it creates the horse. You can see how the facial feature, okay, of the horse is making itself. As we look at this, you can see the objects, all right, the smaller ones, they'll actually start appearing for you. And then, of course, you have the brightly lit objects from the oxide that are white, goldish color that are appearing as well. Okay, it's very beautiful. And the lining effect that it carries, okay, it's very dominant. And it starts to wrap itself around smaller objects. You can start seeing that as well. But as we pan back and we are able to look back at what we what is building, me, I can see several objects. Alright? there is one large one here okay and that is the reason why these objects are going 
they're going up and over it. Now, in turn, while these objects are going up and over it, they're going to create the ears, okay, of the horse. Right? And then, of course, they're going to create the body. Now, guys, this is amazing. The structure of lighting with the system details the system so beautifully. You can see how the arms in certain areas wrap fluently around perfectly. Okay. Now, on the left side of the sun, okay, on the top of that structured object, all right, on the very, very top, when you get a chance to look at it, it's very, very pretty, all right? It has, it almost reminds me of a picture frame where it has the frame on the outside and the beautiful smoothness in the inside, okay? And that'll be coming up here in just a moment. Now, I see the horseman being created, okay? And I see, of course, the debris that is actually going up towards the sun and then it veers off towards the right, okay? Now, if you look closely up towards the top right of the sun, okay, you can see a throne. It's actually building itself right now. And right next to the sun, we are actually looking right at it, you can see a beautiful square. It's a turn of objects. And see, I see a man and a woman there, okay? Just look at everything as it's going across the trails. And the beautiful flat areas, it almost reminds you of a kingdom of such. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, guys. Beautiful, everything's perfect. And of course you have major planetary movement, okay? Several small objects trying to make themselves around a larger object. Now as we back out a little bit, there on the right you can see a dark object that is sitting on top of its debris path. It's drawing out that debris path over that larger object, right over the top of it. Look at that, it's just amazing. We have this large object with its debris coming into play towards the sun. We have this large object, okay. It looks to be headed this way, but I've could very well be wrong. It could be headed towards the sun. As we can see the lining effect that is played here on the bottom, it kind of relatively shows us the direction of its travel. Just amazing. Look at that large object. Look at all the debris on this side of it. It's very mystical and you can see how the debris has clung onto it. Very, <laughs> very powerful. Very powerful. And you can see by just watching this with me. I mean, look at that object. And it's debris. All of it. See the debris path coming down and it slopes up right here. Pretty incredible. I am curious on where but our uh, right, red one is. The shadowing that the system created, it was very, very unique, guys.
There was no cloud involved. It was a, just a huge blanket of black. It was very odd. And this is what drew my attention earlier during the day. Now you can see how this attaches itself to the right side, okay, on the hand. I mean, it's completely attached itself. That is because there is a dark object, and you can make it out through the shadowing, as well as on the left side, okay. Now, as this continues, on the top right, you can start seeing the objects that are coming down. Okay, and this is what spooked me so much, because I saw these objects as they are right now coming down. And as they are coming down, they are passing the sun. And while doing that, it plays that shadow on it. A lot of people say that there is just no way possible through the scientific studies that we have done as a human race that an object with such mass, with its masses, would be able to be visible within our sight and us live to tell about it. Well, folks, I'm here. I am right here. And I am showing you these objects by the mass. I'm showing you the beauty of their travels and how they create this oxidal color of orange, dirty orange. This coloration has been showing in our skies for the last couple years. The multicast of colors that come and range from different objects. And these are the colors of the light spectrum. All of them. It's the light reflecting off of just about everything during its movement. This dirty color is very ominous. Okay, and it can be very, very deceiving. Okay. But it is the objects that write themselves, as I've said so many times over and over and over again. It's the elegant paths that they travel around one another. And the ones that hold the objects as a hand would hold the ball. Very safe and secure and dominant, guys. Okay. And the planetary objects make themselves through their movement through every detail, through the paths that they go, the direction, okay? And as they influence one another, they change their appearance. As I've said again, over and over and over. When they do these wraparounds, as they do here, we're able to see these. Very elegant. You know, like I said before, it's something, you know, you got to remember that for as long as you can remember. You've been walking around with the sun coming above your head and going over, all right, as long as you can remember. And as night comes, you start seeing shadows and you start seeing reflective natures that is, is being created upon the sun, that sun coming over your head. Now, as the system encloses itself closer and closer and closer, it's the idea of having that two sun value, okay? It's having the reflective side balance, okay, of what is being reflected to see the innermost shadow of what we've not seen. It's a perpetual light balance is what cre it's creating, you know? Do not let the governments deceive you. Do not let them do that. Do not let them think that there is an alien invasion on its way. Do not let make you believe that the alien entity are going to kill you because they are not. Okay, they are here. The ones that are here are here to protect. All right, and to take the ones that have been chosen when this all takes place. And most likely, guys, you're either gone already or you will leave right before it happens, okay? Do not let the governments force you into thinking that there is going to be a nuclear suitcase 
in a hot zone in a major city. That is not going to happen. This is going to be a large object coming from space. We have meteor outbreaks all around the world that are taking place right now because of this system. And we have to remember that this has been known, okay, for a good hundred years. Men sat around the table and said, okay, this is what we have to do. This is what must take place in order to transition the people, the millions of people of the population of the world, transition them into the not knowing. Okay, And all of this has been written. There's a movie that was made in 2011. It's called Taking Shelter. If you haven't seen it, please go do so. It's very odd. I had to show my mom and my wife, and normally I don't do that. But I had to do this because this gentleman saw strange things, and he saw the happenings of the sky. And I thought it was unbelievable. Everybody thought he was a, a loony. Thought he was off his rocker. Okay, lacking the meds. But in fact, he was being shown these visions, these dreams of what was going to happen. He was able to look up in the sky to see what was going to take place. And by God, his name was Curtis. <laughs> that gave me cold chills. That told me, wow, it's a possibility that I was chosen. It's a possibility that there really are oracles and people that can read the future. And maybe somebody in the past saw me doing this. I think that's great if I keep myself believing that and I have to because it's so odd I don't claim to be anybody special I have been told by people that I resemble certain people okay godly people but I'm not that person and if I am I'm not claiming to be I want to show you the system and its movements, the objects within it, and their traveling that they do, and the amount of entities that fly through my screen of my camera. It's, it's amazing. And I've tried to show you as much as I can throughout the last couple of years of their existence. And the knowing that if you spend time and have patience and respect them they do the same for you and they show you their beauty and there's a lot of people that said oh they're demonic don't do that don't don't sucker into that part of that dimensional area I'm not for that okay I have love and peace in my heart if an entity wants to tear me to shreds I promise them there are plenty of watchmen that are watching over me that will protect me until the very end. I am 110% sure of this. I have video to prove them sitting there several times. Okay? If you love, they will love. Of course we have the ones that want to create the harm and panic throughout our lives. We have those, but we get rid of those. Okay, there is a galactic federation that is commonly for the good. All right, and they keep that. They keep that tranquility. Our devastation that we do to one another across the globe is not allowed beyond this atmosphere. Thus is why we have never been to the moon. And I don't care what people say. We have never been to the moon. All right, we tried once and we were blown up. And we were told that you will not be allowed to go this far, okay, because you cannot control what is within your world. You have greed and corruption and wars of wars of wars with constant hate in your heart. We cannot allow you to mingle within our federational guidelines, which is peace and love. They do have the bandits. They do have the pirates. They do have the ones that create harm. All right? The entity upon entity. 
I see it all the time with them shooting lasers and beams up in space at each other. There is a major war, good versus evil, going on. Okay? And this happens every time the system comes around because the entities, guys, are coming from different systems. And they're coming within ours because this is the time for a spiritual change, an enlightenment within our soul. Okay, as the human life reaches its turning point and the entities that are coming, guys, some call them the Anunnaki. They put us here supposedly thousands of years ago to mine gold. And throughout that periodic time, we dumbed down and dumbed down and dumbed down into where we are now. And this is not the first time we've done it. And they know this. So they are on their way back. Okay. I know this because I have seen them and they are very large. Large. They are very barbaric and very serious at what they are doing. They are going to take back what is theirs and what is rightfully theirs. This is the winged object, folks. All right? This right here. This is what I have been following and again, this was taken for the last three years. And by God, this 16. is massive. It is massive. Last evening. And it's very heartbreaking again. Okay, because the system in a whole is making itself known to me. And by saying that, I know that it's going to start making itself known to you, either through your sky or my videos or somebody else's videos, if you haven't already started seeing it. The Bible often talks about the angels, okay, and this right here is a angel, okay, the other wing is on the other side, okay, it's very beautiful, we have a large object here, they're everywhere, we have one here, okay, we have small ones here, and you can see the angel wings, the V's, all right, that these objects make. Now, as we continue, this was on the west side, and you can see multiple interactions. Okay, Here you see a trail that comes out of the distance, gets bigger, and that is again because of the object that is coming from that direction, headed towards the south. Okay southeast direction and as well I'll point out this area here okay has several of thousands of objects that lead they're very dark but these objects with this large moon here in the bottom corner are headed towards this large object with its moon okay because of the gravity well that is being surrounded here okay you can see the large debris path here it's very large guys these are all debris paths but you can see this one creates three distinctive cuts to it and I've always showed you that and I've always tried to let you guys see it but I can't force this system upon anyone okay it was so difficult for me in the beginning to not share this with my wife because she's not interested in it. And I don't blame her. I wouldn't want to be interested either. It's something that changes your life. Look at this wave that's being created. You can see the fold at the tops and the infinite lining. All right. All of these objects here are going from the west to the, the east to the west. Look at this here, creating a small wave right here as it pushes off. All of these create the wave during their travel, that misty characteristic. 
to it. It's very beautiful and it, it moves so very elegant. There's our UFO buddy. You can see a large object here as well going the same direction. Okay. It has just shot over these large objects. All right. This plays on so many things, guys, that are happening around the world. And why the governments are scattering about to save their life, save their family's life. During the Bush administration, we lost trillions of dollars of taxpayers' money. It was pushed under the carpet. Secretary of Defense... Donald Rumsfeld gave the speech to where we just don't know where it's at. And that was the government's timing to hoard on the things that they're going to need during the passing of this system. Okay. To manage all of the underground facilities that are being built mainly in Colorado, Tonight, I but there are a significant number throughout the United States. With love. With sincere love. For each and every one of you, this message needs to be spread around the world as fast as possible. Tonight, the system was very large on the Northwest, as were several other objects up just above us. I want to thank the entities for touching my heart back on April 17th, 2013. I want to thank them for flying over me August 22nd, 2012 and opening my eyes again on April 7th, 2013. I want to thank God for giving me the honor to serve Him the best I can with as much love in my heart as I can. Showing truth and giving courage to the world. For there will always be a better day. Most often we don't think about how important each and every one of our lives are until we have someone that has been taken. But in this case, guys, it's everybody. We need to start realizing how special our lives truly are and embrace each other as we were brothers and sisters as we are in God's eyes these are so important times with the system coming in it changes our psyche the way we are used to thinking it draws a vulnerability in us that we cannot ignore please be safe in this time much love